Hi everyone, my name is Christopher, and I'm going to show you a quick walkthrough of Smart Slides. To create a new slideshow, click on the plus icon and enter the slideshow name. There are a few other settings in the advanced section, such as password and event date, but those are optional and we'll skip them for this tutorial. When making Smart Slides, our number one goal was to make the software as simple as possible so that it takes only a few minutes to create a beautiful slideshow. That's why making a slideshow with Smart Slides is an easy three-step process. The first step is to add music to your slideshow. You can upload your own audio files or pick a track from the curated library. All of the tracks in our music library are fully licensed and ready to be legally used for personal or business purposes. Each category has a few tracks inside, which you can preview by pressing play and clicking through the scrubber. Notice that on the right, you will see two beat matching targets as you hover over each song. These numbers let you know how many images you will need to enable beat matching for the song. Hitting either of these targets will enable beat matching, which will automatically synchronize our images to the beat of the song, adding a more emotional and visually appealing touch to your slideshow. Once you have found the perfect track, add it by clicking the plus icon. Now it's time to add images to the slideshow. Notice that you are shown beat matching targets here as well. The difference between the two targets is how quickly the images change during the slideshow. The slow option will display images for a longer period of time, and the up tempo option will show images for a shorter period of time. Don't worry, if you don't upload the exact number of images right away, you can always enable beat matching manually at a later time. Note that at the moment, only tracks in our Smart Slides music library are supported for beat matching. When uploading images, keep in mind that Smart Slides accepts only JPEG files. To avoid the hassle of resizing the images, you can simply upload your photos at their original size, and Smart Slides will intelligently resize them to proper dimensions and resolutions. Of course, using full resolution images will slow down the upload time, and you may choose to downsize them first. We recommend downsizing images to 2,200 pixels on the vertical edge. This will ensure that the images are big enough to be displayed in 4K resolution, which Smart Slide supports. To learn more about preparing images for upload, including recommended Lightroom export settings, click on the Learn More link. Now let's add some images. For the sake of this tutorial, we won't try to upload a specific number of images to enable beat matching right away. We'll just upload all of the images in our folder and enable beat matching later. Once images are added, you'll see a blue upload progress bar at the top, which will let you know about the progress of the upload. Smart Slides has now automatically matched the duration of the audio and the images in our slideshow, so that the music and images start and end at the exact same time. As you can see here, Smart Slides set the duration of each image in order to match the audio. In fact, no matter what changes you make to the slideshow, even if you delete or upload more images, Smart Slides will automatically adjust the image duration so that the images and music always start and end together. The slideshow is ready to go, and we could just click Continue to finalize it, but let me first show you what kind of adjustments you can make at this stage. You can change transitions, add more images, or delete any that you no longer want in the slideshow by selecting them and clicking on the trash icon. You can also reorder images and duplicate them by clicking on the duplicate icon in the bottom right corner of the image. Duplicating an image is great when you want to highlight an important moment and you'd like the image to stay on the screen for a longer amount of time. If you feel that we have too few images in the slideshow and you want to shorten the music, you can do that by trimming the track at the bottom of the screen. Or, if you have too many images and want to make the slideshow longer, you can click on the plus icon at the top to add a new song segment. You can then drag some images over from the current segment or press this button to evenly distribute the images between all of the song segments. And once again, no matter what changes you make, Smart Slides will always readjust the duration of each photo 
to make sure the music and images start and end at the same time. This means the music will never end too early or too late, and your slideshow will always look perfectly polished. Now, let's enable beat matching for our slideshow by clicking on the toggle in the top left corner. Since we are not hitting either of the beat matching targets, we are provided with a few options on what we can do to enable beat matching. The suggested option is always highlighted, and in this example, the suggestion is to delete the last few images. As we choose this option, Smart Slides will automatically delete the last few images for us, and beat matching is now enabled. If you'd like to check how the slideshow looks so far, you can click the play button in the top left corner. This is a great quick way to see how the slideshow is turning out and be able to go back to making changes. Okay, I think we are finished with our edits and are ready to preview the slideshow. Looks great, but perhaps this theme doesn't match our brand. Let's choose a different theme at the top. Okay, that's better. Now, let's choose a better featured image. Awesome, that looks great. I think we're ready to publish. By the way, if you'd rather use your logo instead of your business name, you can upload your logo by going to Preferences. The slideshow is published, and we are all done. Now it's time to copy the slideshow URL and share it with the client. Or if you'd like to put the slideshow directly on your website or blog, you can click on the embed section and get the slideshow embed code there. You may also choose to download a video version of the slideshow, which you can request here. If you have any questions about this tutorial or Smart Slides in general, feel free to use the live chat feature in Smart Slides or email us at support at smartslides.com.